Okami on the Nintendo Switch doesn't just put you in the paws of the sun god in wolf form Amaterasu. It makes you feel like a god. Whether you're sprinting through Nippon, feeding animals, or fighting tooth and claw against demons, there's a boundless energy in Akami that sets it apart from other games on the Switch. Add in the Celestial Brush, a divine paintbrush you use to draw sword slashes, conjure up bombs, or whip up a gust of wind, and you have a game that feels like it was always destined to be on the Nintendo Switch. Without going into too much detail about the main questline, what I can reveal is that you really won't see what's coming when it comes to the story. Okami begins with the unleashing of a terrible darkness that corrupts almost all of Nippon, otherwise known as Feudal Japan. As the sun god Amaterasu, you'll have to lift the curse by defeating monsters and bringing the guardian saplings back to life, mystical trees which restore nature to its rampant, glorious self in key regions and expel the infectious darkness. A mixture of platforming, fighting, minigames, and puzzles await, all meant to be tackled with the Celestial Brush. That divine ink brush is your main weapon and gives you the ability to draw symbols which summon fire, bombs, wind, slow time, let you use vines to catapult yourself into the sky, create lily pads, it basically makes you a god. You can use divine instruments if you like, which is the fancy name for Akami's weapons. But the Celestial Brush will give you those revelatory moments as you figure out yet another way to combine brush techniques to reduce your foes to dust. Or flowers, in Akami's case. While Akami's story is linear, it's bubbling with mischief as it resists the idea that there's a single big bad entity to defeat. Instead, every single boss that you fight leads you deeper and deeper into what's causing the curse that's enveloped Nippon. The people and creatures you meet are just as unexpected. There are dog warriors, an inn run by sparrows, a dojo master whose head rotates upside down, imp chefs, as well as many other colourful characters who will continue to surprise and delight through the entire, very, very long storyline. Now, on to the motion control. Playing Akami on the Wii way back in 2008 felt good, but it was a bit clunky. The chunky Wiimote had a tendency to not pick up on delicate motions, meaning you had to gesticulate enthusiastically, to say the least, if you wanted to draw, say, a bomb or bloom a tree into cherry blossom. On the Nintendo Switch, these motion controls have been updated and refined to make it as effortless and strangely elegant as if you really were channeling some kind of divinity to bend the world to your will. To start off, it's incredibly intuitive. In docked mode, you simply hold down the right bumper and pause the scene and then tap Y to draw. Slashing at enemies needs only a sharp flick to draw a clean, straight line, and blooming trees with a delicate twist of your wrist makes it feel like you're gently ushering those branches to bloom, rather than madly rotating your arms like you had to do with the Wiimote. As for playing Akami in handheld mode, my god, it's seamless. Utterly seamless perfection. Unlike playing in docked mode, there's no holding down the right bumper to pause the scene, no tapping Y to draw. All you do is place your finger on the screen and the game automatically goes into drawing mode as you leave a trail of ink behind. There's the tiniest of pauses when you lift your finger up, which gives you enough time to draw another line if you want to create another bomb or slow down time. Having such a tactile connection to a game is rare. Using the celestial paintbrush feels as natural as if you really were a god. To truly get how joyous playing Akami can be, you're going to want to play it in handheld mode. Trust me on this. Granted, Akami's map isn't massive, but it is dense. There's tons to do. Ready? Here we go. Demon scrolls float around, which you can jump into if you fancy a fight, giving you the chance to try out new moves or practice your brush strokes. Waiting underground are clovers to dig up, plus there are 99 stray beads hidden in the game, which gives you a mysterious prize when you find them all. Extra dog skins for Amaterasu unlock when you complete the game for the first time. Yep, I said first time. Which change depending on various things, ranging from how many times you die to how much yen or demon fangs you collected. Oh yeah, and during your adventures you can try and feed 100% of each type of animal found throughout Nippon, or dedicate yourself to fishing to discover every type of fish. That's not even mentioning the treasures to tick off your list, or the moves at the dojo to learn, or the special one-off items you can buy with demon fangs. Akami is a goldmine for completionists. So, once you complete the game, there's always more to do. A slightly intimidating amount, actually. One of the only bad points I could think of, and trust me, I've been racking my brains to try and think of a single one, is that sometimes the dialogue can go on for a bit too long. But that's it. 
that's literally the only negative thing about Akami. It's finally found its perfect console, blurring the line between player and game to an unmatched degree. So, for $19.99 or $15.99 in the UK, with over 50 hours of exquisite gameplay, it's a crime not to give it a go. So, what in Amaterasu's name are you waiting for? This is what the Nintendo Switch was made for. We give it 5 stars. So, that's what we thought of Akami on the Nintendo Switch. Let us know whether you're going to play it in the comments below, click the box on the left for more content from us and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more news, reviews, previews and features right here on GamesRadar.